Hey, welcome back everybody. I've got a treat for you today. I'm joined by Dr. David Shetler, who's the bug doc. And if you want to know something about bugs, this guy is an expert <laughs> and knows. One of the things that's always a problem, and people are asking me, should I have grub treatment with my lawn care? Uh, let's talk about grubs. You're holding a whole bucket of those. What are they? <laughs> well, these happen to be the mass chafer grubs. Uh, and these are actually, I have a light trap that I run in my backyard to collect insects. And this is two nights worth. Wow. In my backyard over in Hilliard, Ohio. And what we're finding is that a lot of people saw a lot of Japanese beetles this year. Uh, it's the most Japanese beetles that we've seen in a long time. Uh, and people are wondering, well, what happened? Well, it actually goes back to last year. If you remember last year, we had a slightly wetter than normal season. And it's wet soil that allows for white grub populations to build up. Okay. The same thing happened with mass chafers. Now, people miss the mass chafers. You know, the, I was scared that they almost look like they're good enough to eat. You know, it's well, like a peanut. The, the birds really like them. I, I set them out for the, you, the birds. You would, recommend, with them. you would recommend I take a bite? Well, actually, if they were roasted, they would probably be pretty good nutrients for you. All right, all right, all right. But the reality is, is that these fly at nighttime, and most people miss them. If they go out at nighttime, they might see a brown bug flying around their, their light or something like that. Uh, and what we're seeing is the mass chafers and the Japanese beetles are kind of off the scale this season. Really high populations. So, and, and what that means is they've got to find a place to lay their eggs and they're going to be laying their eggs in people's lawns uh, and uh, landscapes. Uh, golf course superintendents, I've already alerted them, they need to really make sure not only are they going to protect their fairways, they need to protect their roughs this year because sure. they're going to get uh, grubs in there. So if you've not had a grub treatment or if you've been thinking, well I've never ever had these grub problems, uh, this is the year that I think you really ought to reconsider that. Is there a particular kind of lawn that's uh, more prone to damage? Absolutely. Uh, we're in a, some nice turf right here, and so I hate to say it, but the densest, thickest turf is also the one that's at highest risk. Uh, of having these. Also what we found is that lawns that are at least four to five years old have had enough time to build up the organic matter, the thatch, that these grubs like to eat. And so if you've got that lawn that's, uh, let's say, over four to five years mm -hmm. old, it's pretty good, you've, you've kept the weeds out and it's fairly dense, you're at a high risk this year of having white grubs. You're sharing with me that these are scarab beetles and they actually eat that thatch, right? <laughs> yeah, well remember scarab beetles are dung beetles. And, okay. and what, what might remember, uh, you know, what might resemble a giant cow patty in your lawn, you probably don't think about it, but it's that layer of <laughs> organic thatch. matter, that sure. thatch that's sure. in there, and that's really what they're eating. Now of course they, they damage the root system while they're there eating that organic matter. So what do people do to control the, the possibility? Should they do a, 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 a prophylactic treatment? Yeah, uh, the best insecticides that work the best for the, these white grubs are what we call preventive treatments. Now there are people that have been putting preventive treatments all the way from May, June, July, and people are saying, well, am I too late? No, you're really right at the ideal time right now because there's eggs in the turf. Uh, those eggs are going to hatch out into the little tiny first instar grubs at the end of July, the early part of August. That's when you want the maximum amount of your insecticide there. And virtually all of the grub insecticides uh, that, that are registered for white grubs work very well. Uh, things like uh, uh, what we call a celebrin. Okay. Uh, uh, imidacloprid, thiamethoxin. Which is also known as merit. Merit. Uh -huh. okay. And uh, clothianidin, uh, which is arena. Uh, okay. And thiamethoxin, which is uh, meridian. All of those uh, work quite well against the white grubs uh, at this time. Now, obviously, there's different trade names for those. Uh, if you go to the garden center, just say, I'd, and I hate to say this, what you want to say is, I want a neonic. Okay. For my white grubs or the acelaprin. The acelaprin is the non neonic that works pretty well. Where we run into problems is the cheapest bag that's in the store that's got that big circle with a grub in it, you yep. know, the line yep. through it. Yep. That has a pyrethroid insecticide in it. Doesn't work. And the reason for that is that pyrethroid gets stuck in the organic matter at the surface and never gets down to where the grubs are. So if it's a do-it-yourself or you want a neonic or an, a celeprin mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, chemical, right. 
if they're not doing it themselves, most lawn care providers oh, should be dialed into this and give you those two, yeah. or should they ask the lawn care provider to, are they putting down a Neonic or an Acelloprin? Well, most of the lawn care companies know the commercial brands, the things that, that do work. They, they read my fact sheets and all the sure. information that I provide for that. Uh, but what we find is that uh, grub control for many of the lawn care folks is an option, and a lot of people opt out. Uh, of that. So yeah. uh, this is the, the case that they might want to, again, call their lawn care company and say, you know, I told you I didn't want a grub treatment this year. I think maybe I want to reconsider that and do it. Particularly this year because the cycle is such that you've got big populations. Ab absolutely. All right, we're going to talk about some more bugs in some other videos because this one went pretty long, but it was great information. <laughs> I hope you'll check back with us. I'm Tom Wood for your garden.